Hi, this video is about my Airbnb experience. I found Airbnb through Sean of One Minute Day and I thought I'd try it out for booking my accommodation in Adelaide and Newtown. So this video will just show you where I stayed and what it was like and also how you can book what website to go to. So this is what the house looks like from the outside. It looks a bit scary but it's actually a lovely house. It's a single level large home and the owners are Tony and Cleona. The house is located in the suburb of Wayville and it's close to the tram stop and it's just south of the city. It's only a 10 minute cycle to the city or a half hour walk and for this accommodation I paid about $70 a night and I stayed here for 12 nights. This is the view when you walk in from the front door. On the left is the room that my husband and I stayed in. Uh, there's no bed sheets because we took them all out to wash and we're just leaving which is why our luggage is like that. You get a cupboard to put your luggage in and also some hangers on top to hang up any of your clothes. So there's plenty of space for your things in this room. And as you go out, I'll show you the bathroom. We get our own bathroom. There's a bath, a shower, and it's well lit. It's very clean. And they allow you to use some of their shampoos and conditioners if you want, but I brought my own. And they provide you with lots of towels. You can weigh yourself if you want. And then you also get your own toilet with the tap and mirror. So again, very clean and pleasant. You also get a laundry to wash your clothes in. So you do share this with them. And they're a fan of wine. As you walk further along, you can see there's a living space where you're allowed to sit and do anything you want. Kenny and I played a little bit of guitar and keyboard there and there's a nice view outside. And further along is the kitchen. Sitting at the computer there is Tony, the owner. And they provide breakfast, but you do need to source your own lunch and dinner. Outside you can use the clothesline. You can watch TV if, if it's free. There's my husband and his iPad. So that's what the view is inside the house. And now I'll show you the website where I booked the accommodation. It's called Airbnb. And you get to sign in and have your own profile. You can book a place anywhere in the world to stay. So you're staying with people rather than booking a hotel or an apartment. So sometimes you do share the space with other people but you can also book the whole house or the whole apartment. So you can select those options, whatever you prefer. And this is generally more affordable than booking a hotel or an apartment the conventional way. And the good thing about booking with Airbnb is that you get to meet the people of the community. So uh, with your host, they'll generally tell you what there is to see around the area and we were lucky because Tony the owner of the house in Adelaide actually showed us around a bit and he even rode with us on his bike to go to the beach when we were cycling there so he was a very kind host this is my profile and if you refer other people to this website you can get some travel credit I haven't referred anyone yet, but I probably will with my friends. And you can see whether the people that you request to stay with will accept or decline. So you don't always get accepted, um, depending on the person's situation. I was lucky to be accepted by Daniel, whom we stayed with in Newtown, and by Tony, with whom we stayed with in Adelaide. I hope that helped and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!